My dear child, I know that you've been seeking a miracle, and your heart carries a heavy burden. I want you to know that I'm here with you now, speaking directly to your soul. Please, focus your attention on my words, for they hold great meaning, and I wish for you to embrace them fully. I've watched as life's challenges have overwhelmed you, leaving you feeling powerless and weak. I understand your pain as you witness the crumbling of the life you've worked so hard to build. You might believe that you can hide your emotions from the world, but I see deep into your heart and I know the wounds it carries. I'm aware that you carry burdens from the past, memories that haunt you relentlessly. I understand all that you're going through, and I accept you just as you are, weaknesses and all. What I cannot allow is for bitterness to take root and linger in your heart, for there is a time for everything in life. There is a season for sorrow, but there is also a time for joy, and your season of grief has lingered longer than necessary. I've brought this message to you today because your faith and hope have been your armor, but doubt has crept in, and the enemy's arrows have found their mark. It's not your fault. You've neglected our communion and the power of prayer. I warned you not to stray. I beckoned you to draw near to me because by my side, even the heaviest sorrows become bearable. I'm here to encourage you to return to me, to reconcile our connection. There is still time, and you can reclaim all that seems lost. I am the source of blessings and goodness. Draw close to me today no matter how insurmountable your problems may seem, and I will provide solutions. I love you more than anyone else ever could, and I alone possess the power to cleanse your soul's sorrows and heal your body. Even if your sins are as dark as night, I can make them as pure as freshly fallen snow. Come to me with your prayers, seek me earnestly, and you will find me. I will deliver you from all evil, for your enemies may seem formidable, but they cannot defeat you with my help. It's not by coincidence that this message has reached you. I orchestrated these events because my love for you makes all things possible. Have faith in my words, and you will be free from fear. I will break the chains that bind you, the sinister bonds that lead to despair. There is no force greater than mine, and even demons tremble in my presence. But for my children, my words bring joy and healing, and I guide them to safety. I want to do the same for you. You are now part of my flock, a lost sheep that I've sought out. I don't want you to navigate this insecure world alone. I desire to lead you to green pastures, quench your thirst with living waters and care for you. I want to heal all your wounds, grant you the miracle as you seek, and fill your soul with eternal joy. Do not resist my voice. Do not harden your heart. The days are becoming increasingly difficult, but with me by your side, nothing will harm you. A thousand may fall by your side, ten thousand by your right hand, but evil will not touch you, and no calamity will befall your dwelling. I've taken the first step by delivering this message. Now it's your turn. Seek me today with prayers and praises in your own way, but seek me. My ear is attentive to your pleas and my hands are open to bless you. I want you to feel my immense love, experience my boundless peace, and sense my presence permeating every corner of your being. I will engrave my plans for you in your mind so that you'll never forget them. I know you've lost motivation and enthusiasm for things you once loved. I am the giver of both desire and action, and my desire for you is to rekindle your passion. I have incredible purposes for your life, and I will infuse you with the enthusiasm needed to fulfill them. I understand that you're grasping the significance of my words, and I rejoice because your life is precious to me. Your soul is beyond measure, more valuable than all the riches in the world, for I have redeemed you with my own blood. 
I am now bringing tranquility to your heart, peace to your thoughts, and flooding you with my great love. My spirit is entering your home, touching your family, bringing healing, unity, and multiplying love. I thank you for allowing me back into your life. Now relax, for I stand by your side as a mighty protector, defeating all your adversaries. You will no longer face your battles alone, for I will stand before you, vanquishing your foes. Fear nothing, for I am greater than all your problems. Remember, above all, you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. With me by your side, you will lack nothing. I will provide for all your needs and those of your family. I have magnificent blessings in store for you, things that will fill your heart with joy. I desire to open doors that have remained shut until now. I can and want to bring your dreams to fruition. My greatest joy is to see you fulfilled and I hold marvelous blessings for you. You will love them, the spring evenings, the golden painted autumn mornings, the starlit summer nights. I want you to encounter incredible people who will enrich your soul, dear friends who await you, the love of your life and beautiful places waiting for you to discover. I have oases of joy for you, even in the midst of the desert, springs of crystal clear water, just express your desires, and I will open my hands and grant you all that you seek. However, you must prioritize me and believe in my promises with unwavering faith. The key to your treasure chest of blessings is faith, and the size of your faith will determine what you receive. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please me, and your faith demonstrates your trust in me. If you doubt, I cannot act. Your faith should be great yet simple, akin to a child's trust in their parents. They eagerly and confidently anticipate their parents' promises, never doubting their words. Today, I encourage you to trust me as a child does, opening your arms with confidence to your Heavenly Father. From the day you surrendered your heart to me, I cleansed you with my blood and adopted you as my child. You are an heir to everything you see, even if you don't fully comprehend it all. I know that at times, it's challenging to believe, as many worldly distractions pull you away from me. When your spiritual fire wanes, believing in miracles may appear foolish as you lean on human reasoning. But I don't require you to use reason or logic to understand my mysteries, especially those human sciences that often deny my existence. I find amusement in the wisdom of those who create laws that contradict one another. All I ask is that you believe in me, and you'll witness the impossible manifest in your life. I will bring healing to your body and empower you to bring healing to others. Just as I turned water into wine at the wedding in Cana, I remain the same yesterday today and forever. I can still perform creative miracles and there are essential things that you and your loved ones need, which only I can provide as the world and its systems fall short. Believe in my words, embrace my faith with all your might, and I will do far more for you than you can fathom. I want you to experience my peace, harmony in your home, a special love among your family members, where affection and patience reign. I wish to remove jealousy and bring prosperity to every aspect of your life. When I speak of prosperity, I'm not referring to temporary wealth, but an unending flow of blessings. I want you to flourish in every area of your life, to possess eternal peace, and for all your paths to be smooth, both now and forever. To attain all this, you must cultivate faith and patience, for all things occur in my perfect timing. If your faith wavers, so will your patience and doubt will creep in, causing the seeds of your faith to wither. Many begin their journey well, but are overtaken by impatience and cease to believe. Worse yet, they distance themselves from me and place their trust in worldly pursuits. 
Ultimately, they lose everything because they were not steadfast in their commitment to me. Today could mark the beginning of a new and glorious chapter in your life, filled with accomplishments and joy. Stay on my path, delve into my word, study it to understand me better and nurture your spiritual life. Surround yourself with testimonies and people of unwavering faith, and you will grasp the depths of my message today. You will mature spiritually, making it simpler to believe. Frequent your prayers with a deeper longing, and they will become increasingly effective, bearing the fruit of your faith in the form of blessings. Your table will lack no bread. I will heal you and your loved ones, defeating your enemies on your behalf. I will foster a family unity you've never known as I will be present to strengthen your bonds. There will be no hatred, no conflicts, no betrayals, and no divisions. This is what it means to have my presence dwell in your home, my eternal desire for my children to prosper in every facet of their lives. Shift your focus toward heavenly matters rather than the fleeting vanities of the world. Let's continue. Approach me with confidence and dream big, for I delight in fulfilling grand dreams for those who trust in me. Remember, all things are possible for those who dare to believe. You once believed that distancing yourself from me was a path to a better life, far from home, but it led to turmoil and suffering. The winds of life are formidable. They push, sway, and bend you. You cannot predict their origin or their destination, and they may carry you to places you'd never choose to go. They may thrust you forcefully toward dark and distant territories, and like a fragile paper boat, your emotions seem to sink within your soul. You felt adrift, like a paper boat on the vast sea, and I know it hasn't been easy. You've had to find strength in the face of fear. The storms you've faced have been harsh, and you've lost your sense of direction. Your night has been dark, and thick clouds have obscured the guiding star. But do not despair. Raise your hands and call upon my name, for I will be your guiding light from my throne. I will ignite the most powerful light I possess. My Son of Righteousness will shine as your beacon. Fear not, dear one, I am here with you. I've waited patiently for this moment, knowing that you would return. That's why I've prepared a grand feast for you. My lost child has come back to me, safe and sound. Let's settle our accounts, and I will forget everything that has transpired. Everything. Your time of affliction is coming to an end, and it will be a day of celebration not sorrow. Surrender yourself to me with all your heart, and your efforts will be rewarded. You will soar on wings like eagles. I will restore all that has been lost. Activate the gifts I've placed within you, gifts that have lain dormant for far too long. I understand that you strayed from me. Your rebellion was great, and the enemy deceived you with his lies, leading you astray. You endured suffering, you hadn't even known existed. But now you've returned, and I have forgiven you. I am a gracious and compassionate God who readily forgives the repentant sheep that return to the flock. My dear child, the moment has come for me to bestow upon you the most profound blessings straight from my heart. I am giving you a new beginning, a fresh start. Never wander far from me, for you know that apart from me, there is nothing. The path to heaven is narrow, a tight passage, but the road to despair is wide and vast. I have seen your struggles. I know how you suffered in your absence. I am fully aware of every moment, and I've extended your life so you can find your way back, so you can turn towards repentance. Please, don't carry guilt. You are human and none of you are perfect. I understand your weaknesses, and no one has the right to judge you, for everyone has sinned. Remember, let the one without sin be the first to cast a stone. 
If you allow me to guide your life, I will strengthen you in your moments of weakness, and you will gain mastery over your emotions. You will start to see the world through my eyes, for I will dwell within you. Trust me, there's no other way to conquer sin. There isn't. On your own, you couldn't do it. Your impulses led you to a dark place. Let me lead your life. Let me always go ahead of you, and all will be well. I need you to stay faithful and unwavering in all matters concerning me, and you will witness the miracles I will perform. I will always be with you. I will never abandon you. Your prayers are always heard, and in my perfect timing, your requests will be granted. Know that your efforts and your courage will not be in vain. You will receive a great reward, my child. I am delighted to have you by my side once again. I will mold you into a person of faith, and those who doubted there was hope, for you will be astounded. I will confound the hearts of unbelievers who questioned my power, because my lost child has returned. I have strengthened and restored you. Rejoice. Fill your heart with joy and shout with delight, for your Father is patient. Your God redeems the lost, heals the wounded, and forgives the repentant. From now on, your labors will be fruitful, and all you do will prosper. You will bless everyone you meet on your journey, and you will share my testimony even in far-off lands. Everyone will know that I am your God, the one who accomplished what no one else could. I love you like no other ever has. I've promised to be with you until the end of the world, and I will. With your heart in mine, I will bless your soul until it overflows. Do not fear. Even if you stumble, keep trusting, keep persevering, and you will prevail. I will reward your effort, and my glory will shine upon all your endeavors. Your family will witness my power. Your friends will acknowledge that it was I who brought about all these changes, because my mercy is boundless, and my strength always supports my children. Fear nothing, my dear one, my beloved, for I stand by your side to defend you, to defeat your adversaries, and to break the chains that your enemy has woven. You are courageous, and I am proud of you. My sacrifice was not in vain. You acknowledge me as your Lord, and you are humble. Thus I have encircled your dwelling with my angels. Their mission is to shield you and your family, and no force can stand against them. Keep moving forward, do not give up. I have placed dreams in your heart for you to strive towards. When you feel you can't go on, call out to me, and I will renew your strength so you can carry on. Trust in my promises, never doubt my words, and you will encounter immense blessings. My gift is available to those who remain steadfast and humble. Beloved, remember that heaven and earth will pass away but my words will endure forever. I remain the same through all ages, and everything was created by me and for me. I have pledged to give you the earth as your inheritance, and it shall be so. Everything I possess belongs to me, and you are my child. I spared nothing, not even my own life on the cross, so that you may have everything. So continue along the path you have chosen and you will reach all your dreams. I have much more in store for you than you can imagine, but I need you to keep trusting. If your faith wavers, ask me for it. Request wisdom from me, and I will grant you peace. Seek my kingdom, and abundance will be yours. These times may be challenging, but I've promised to be with you until the end, and I will. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. But no harm will befall your dwelling because you have stored my counsel in your heart. I will also shield you from the trials that lie ahead. Keep striving. I know you have faith in me. I want you to know that I also have faith in you, and I know your true nature. I know you have held fast to my teachings despite countless trials and temptations. With confidence, look at my blessings, just as you are doing, 
and soon your eyes will witness the fruits of your patience, your perseverance, and your faithfulness, my child. Soon your spirit will dance with joy and your lips will sing praises to my name for all the good that comes your way. Those around you will recognize that I am the one who worked these miracles and they too will believe. Thank you for choosing to listen to my voice today. It was a wise decision. I understand that you have been facing tough challenges, but I don't want you to dwell on them. Instead, focus on the solutions I will provide, and you will see improvement in all things. Beloved, remember that problems are temporary. No trial lasts forever. But my blessings are eternal, and what I give you will never be lost. I know you live in a physical world where you need many material things, things that I can provide. However, my greatest desire is your spiritual blessing, for you to grow in wisdom and faith. Always seek my kingdom and my righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. Do not hoard treasures on earth, where moths and rust corrode. Rather, store up treasures in heaven, where they will endure for all eternity. Every soul you bring to my feet will not leave empty-handed. I will bless them with peace and spiritual abundance. There is nothing greater for a person than inner peace. I want to see you thrive in all things, just as your soul thrives. I did not place you in this world to live in scarcity. Never believe that. What you perceive as difficulty I call challenges, and they are necessary for you to know me better. Remember, Job was the most righteous man on earth, yet he did not truly know me until he faced his trials. Through trials my children come to know me, and when they know me, they come to know themselves. Difficulty deepens your dependence on me, and it is when you seek me most fervently that you find me. I am a close God who desires a deep connection with the Chosen Ones. So. Here is my message to you today. Do not lose hope in the circumstances you find yourself in. Instead, seek my kingdom, seek the fullness of the Spirit, and rest in my promises because I will take care of you. I have never allowed your table to lack sustenance, and my comforter has always been by your side, even when you couldn't see it. He guides you always, and it was He who prepared this message for you today, so you could hear these words. It was he who placed the spiritual need in your heart, a need I am eager to satisfy right now. Feel my words healing your soul, bringing you peace. Rest in me, and I will give you the courage and wisdom to pursue your desires. I will refine the gifts I have placed within you, perfecting every one of your abilities. Just open your heart to my guidance and let me dwell within it so that words of love, abundance, and prosperity may flow from your mouth. Even when things seem bleak, you will see them through the lens of faith. Faith brings to reality what is unseen. It is the assurance of what is hoped for and the conviction of what is not seen. Just imagine all that you desire and feel your heart rekindle with hope. I want to inspire you to keep fighting, to keep walking, even when you are weary, for the weariness of the soul is far easier to bear than that of the body. And if you fill your heart with joy, the joy that emanates from my throne, you can continue even when the path is treacherous. You know that beyond this difficult season, there are lush pastures where you can rest. Allow my will to be accomplished in you and I will fortify you with the strength of a mighty beast. Do not be afraid of what you see or what might come, because as long as you hold my hand, no harm will befall you. You and your family will always be guided toward paths of blessing. Place your complete trust in me every day. Seek my counsel and wisdom in all things, and I will grant you discernment to navigate life successfully. No one can deceive you, for I will lead you to all truth. Beloved, 
Listen carefully to what I will tell you now. When you neglect to nourish your spiritual life properly, even the smallest troubles can harm you, and it is natural for you to feel abandoned in the face of various adversities. That's why I emphasize that you focus your efforts on eternal matters rather than earthly ones. True peace for a person does not come from riches in gold and silver, but from doing my will and walking in my righteousness. The one who walks in my righteousness finds inner harmony. Their sleep will be peaceful. Seek me in everything you do, and in all things. I will guide your steps. I promise to open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings of all kinds into your life. Now accept all my love, my sweet peace, and a warm, heartfelt embrace from my arms. Remember to seek me whenever you need me, but also when things are going well. Keep me in mind, in all things, and in everything, I will guide you. Amen.